The moment Guam youth football fans have been waiting for. The Jamboree kicking off the biggest season of youth football ever. All nine teams present including the defending champs, the Marlins House Angels, the Island Saints, the Southern Wolverines, the Guam Gatorade Giants, the Southern Cowboys, the Island Eagles, the Guam Raiders, the Northern Falcons, and the Jigo Jets. Here's Vice President Fred Tupaz about the league and thanking his sponsors. I think it's, uh, it's going to be a, an exciting season considering that all the teams have to play each other just once. Uh, and the top eight teams will all make the playoffs. So it's going to be intense competition throughout. I've had a chance to see these kids last year, watch them again, and see some of them this year. So it's going to be a really exciting league. We'd like to thank Pack Sports uh, Limited, the league sponsors. We'd also like to thank all of our team sponsors, GTA Teleguam, Guam Premier Outlets, SPPC76, Dennis Borja, and Dr. Vince Duenas, who helped give discounted physicals for all of our players to ensure that they can all participate in this year's league. So the seven-year-olds and older didn't get the chance to play, but here come the five through six-year-old flag football teams, Eagles Raiders, Falcons Jets. Here we go. The Eagles getting stopped early in the game. The Raiders quickly getting to the flags to prevent the Eagles from flying anywhere. It turned out to be a rough first half for the Eagles man Dikiki division as they couldn't advance the ball. They would respond well though in the second half. Here are the Raiders moving the ball all the way around the Eagles defense. As soon as the runner hit the corner it was off to the races. Touchdown Guam Raiders. This wasn't the only game though. Moving on to the other half of the field, the Jigo Jets were taking it to the Northern Falcons. Number 99 for the Tiny Jets doing what Jets do best and hightail away from everything, leaving the Falcons in the jet stream. More from the Jets number 6 Jenkins turning on the afterburners and running his heart out, right past the entire Falcons defense. Oh no, he's gone, no one's going to catch him. The Jets jumping out to an early lead. How would the Falcons respond? In convincing fashion. After a rough handoff, the Falcons running back is able to put it together and barely beat the last defender and finish it off with a touchdown. The coach for the Falcons is getting into the celebration with an end zone dance of his own. More sports action over the weekend. The Medic Sister Village program hosted a 5K Saturday for the JQ San Miguel Elementary School near the Tizen baseball field. The run was delayed due to a massive interruption of rain causing most if not all runners to hide under a canopy. Despite the rain delay, over 700 runners participated in the event and we'd like to acknowledge some of the winners. Jeffrey Lim Siakla took first place before all males with a time of 17 minutes and 57 seconds, becoming the first in the junior male division. And standout Lexi Bosworth was the first in the female junior division. Reporting for Sports Watch, I'm Robert Bullahudja.